okay guys so now this is my credit score now i have this excellent this is coming from uh transunion and this is from equapax so let's check the transunion there there is a slightly different with my credit score but they both are excellent so let's see from this one and see why it's 753 and this one 773 now months ago my <clears throat> my score was around 800 um more than 800 which is the um, so the excellent it was in excellent also and well the category is i think poor good very good excellent and um um more than excellent so i i had to look for the the right word for that so let's see let's go to this one and even though i have derog derogatory marks and i see they they took it out i know i used to have a hard inquiries hard inquiries is like for example you are applying for another credit card from let's say i want to buy a bed so i'm trying to apply for like let's say furniture uh, store um credit so i can get the furniture that i wanted so that would be like in the hard inquiries but now they it's now on zero way back i had like three inquiries which is it would drop your your points when you do that and view details let's see let's see the details to that no hard inquiries so so far because i do not have no inquiries for like the whole two years i believe i did not apply any credit cards but if you see i my total accounts this one meaning i have the total of 17 accounts which is i have 17 credit cards let's see what that is um <clears throat> uh, so well it's not showing on this one but i have let's see so zero oops sorry guys uh, there's a solid number of accounts on your report. Lenders typically like to see that you use a variety of accounts responsibly. You see? So every time you have a credit, it will show. So obviously, these credits of mine, credit cards that I have owed, it's been four years and five months that I have been uh, using it. Your credit history looks pretty new. So, lenders typically like to see that you have experience using credit responsibility. Responsibly. So, that's what... So, uh, let's see. I had three derogatory marks. Three derogatory marks means like, had have I not pay my... Um, one of my credit card or account like this was when i had a divorce okay so when i divorced my ex our phone company our phone bills was in my name and when i left him i did not i did not cancel uh, my account with our phone so when he canceled it and even though I was already divorced with him and but because it was in my name and then he had he had not paid whatever he owed in his bills with the phone number I mean with the phone bills and the internet and this is what happened it it, it went to my name and so that's that's why I have a, a derogatory marks on my credit but even that I still have a good credit all in all as you see I have 
I have excellent credit. Credit card use 4% impact. So let's see what that is. 4% 1,520 out of 38,328. So because I have a total debts of 38,000 when I started. And see? And now it's you know, it's not bad at all. So this is a good example of how you manage your financial, I mean, your credit card. So let's see, I maintain the excellent credit history. Look at this, let's look at my account. This is from TransUnion. So I have a total balance. I have a debt. Debts, a total of 15,512. Hmm, good, huh? And my auto loan, as you can see here, guys, my auto, my vehicle loan, I still owe 13,677. You see that? This is all my debts. And my credit cards, I still owe 1520 And I have a collection of 315 And that collection is what I was telling you when, when I had a divorce and he did not pay and it was in my name. So that's what it is. But even with that, even when I have a collection in my record, I still have an excellent, excellent, uh, excellent, credit history as you can see my credit line is excellent you see 753 on transunion and i have equifax here 773 and way back i have 800 the 800 is right here guys which is the highest you see so yeah and so let's take a look at my no, I really did look at the accounts already. So, and this is my auto loan. I have one. Uh, let's see. Well, that do not have, it's just show that I have one auto loan, which is true because I paid off with my first car. So, so, okay. <clears throat> so that's for my transunion report we had to, we're going to we're going to take a look at the equifax equifax 773 which is almost close to 800 which is an excellent excellent again so sorry guys i do not really have a good view here Here it is. In Equifax, I had three hard inquiries from Equifax report, and I have a total of 23 accounts, which means I, have, I had 23 credit cards in some point of my life. So all in all, all the credit cards that I had, I possess 23 credit cards. Can you imagine that? I'm only 43 years old and 40, uh, well, I started having a credit card when I was 29, I believe. And I am now 20, I mean, 43 years old. So it's, I'm really, really young to even have 23 accounts. Can you imagine? And my, um, and right here, it's different. I have credit aids of medium impact five years. It's been five years that I have these credit cards, some of my credit cards. So I have two derogatory marks, but even so, I still have an excellent, excellent credit report. Can you imagine? So this is how um, um, I maintain my credit report. So I'm gonna I'm going to tell you why I do have a credit report, excellent credit report in a long time now. 
and I'm gonna explain to you why and I do have um, I do have uh, what do you call it um, you see all is is in the same in Equifax I still have this debts 13,000 and for my this is these are my major 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 credit cards here the 1520 these are my visa that has I have two major credit cards both are visa cards that are um, they have a uh, cash rewards and the other one is power rewards which is are both are the same and they're from Bank of America so I will explain to you guys um, how did I manage to have an excellent credit card I mean credit history hello everyone okay I will just want to share I would like to share about how to how to maintain an excellent credit history and what is a credit history <clears throat> A credit history is when you have a lot of credit cards. For example, I have, well, according to my record there, which I'm going to show you uh, later on, according to my record of credit history, I have 27 accounts, I believe, or something like that. I mean, I, I don't even remember, but let's see how many credit cards i have here that are active that are not close account because i know i have a lot that i just closed because i don't use them i have lowe's account i have walmart account i have uh jesse penny i mean i have sears i have i mean oh my gosh i have chase I have my first major credit card when I first came in here in United States. Not first I came in. I mean, I only came once and never came back or never left, whatever. Anyway, the first credit, major credit card after I've been here for like a year or two, I applied for a Capital One. You know that advertisement about what's in your wallet? That, that was my first, first major, major credit card I had. But then, I, you know, when I started banking with the other bank, uh, they offer this cash rewards and power rewards credit card. Well, it sounds really good to me because every time you use it, every time i pay my bills every time i pay buy groceries buy gas every time i use it even though i have cash but i use the credit cards just so i can accumulate a cash rewards and then i will put my cash back to it and of course you have to make sure you only spend whatever cash money that you only have and make sure like how much income in a month that you can that you have actually that you are receiving in a month that's how much i only charge in my credit card that way i don't go over my income i don't have to be paying um interest and this is why i maintain my excellent credit history because like for example okay I have so many credit cards, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right now, I only have six because I can't find the rest of my credit cards. Because you know, I have multiple wallets and I keep changing whatever purse, whatever. So, and I don't want to be hunting wherever it is. So anyway, I only keep two major credit cards. The two major credit cards I have are Visa. And they both have... The other one is cash rewards and the other one has power reward which is the same thing you still accumulate rewards which is cash to where you can cash out your reward and use it for whatever but my cash reward i save it for christmas for my boys um you know to buy for christmas so that's my savings for their christmas 
So that's already taken care of. Like, you know, this coming Christmas, I don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, I don't have money for their Christmas. Well, the cash rewards already took taking care of it. So that's that. So the two major credit cards I have, the other one has $10,000 uh, credit line. The other one has $15,000 credit lines. Now, <clears throat> the Lowe's has $8,000 credit lines. Kohl's, Kohl's gave me just a very, very low credit card of credit line of $1,000. Now, the furniture store gave me $10,000 of credit line so you can buy whatever that's what they want you to do now i have another furniture credit cards that gives me twenty thousand dollars credit line now the walmart cards i don't know where i put it but i know the walmart is active and it has five thousand dollars credit line in it so how many thousands of dollars already that's all of on these credit cards so now for other people they said you know, when you go shopping, you just swipe and swipe and swipe, 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 swipe. Though you don't realize every time you swipe, you have to pay back to all of that charges, right? But I, 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 I have control. I only use my credit card to pay what needed, what is needed in my family i only live within my means or what in me the means or kung anong kinakailangan so my major credit card is my major use okay the two major credit card which actually i only use one i have a lot but with this credit card i pay with everything in it. Oh, I paid the bills except for car payment and the water bills and um, for gas bills because those are the ones that really requires to pay with either your check or online. So if I pay online, everything goes to credit card. But there's some like the gas bills, even if I pay online, they still charge you because if for using credit cards so now if you ask me do I use um, checkbook I never use checkbook for almost 10 years now of my life here paying bills so I only use this because of power reward or cash reward so I only use two major of my credit cards which really here lately I only use my cash reward credit cards because like i said for every time you use it you get cash rewards so now i only get paid twice a month so the schedule of my vehicle payment is always on the 18th of the month well remember if you have an auto loan there is an everyday interest whether if it's auto loan, whatever type of loan, you get charged interest every day. You have everyday interest charges. So what I do with my auto loan, instead of paying it on the 18th of the month, which is the, that's the date of my payment of my loan, uh, vehicle loan, I don't wait for the 18th. I always pay it every fifth of the month. That way, I don't have to pay all of those many days of charges, interest charges, right? That's how you maintain your excellent credit history. Because not only I am paying it ahead of time, on time, I, it also helps me because I'm not paying those, how many days that I am paying ahead, I'm not paying those interest. So the vehicle loan company they're not really happy with me as a customers because they're not really making a lot of money from out of me because i'm not paying that interest much because you know why i'm also paying um my car payment 
instead of let's say my car payment is 300 something dollar a month well i am paying more than that i'm paying 200 dollar more so you know that's really good for your credit points also because i'm paying over of the um payment plus i'm also avoiding more interest that i'm paying so i'm, I'm just talking about the auto loan right so that's how i do that 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 is my secret and also those uh 200 dollars that i am paying over or more than what the auto loan payment should be those amount will go to the principal you know so at the end of the year they have what you call if it's like a mortgage they call they call it escrow right but in the auto vehicle at the end of the year or like let's say at the end of the month they would let you know and tell you well um you have this such amount so therefore this month you have no you have no balance so i know i have balance because i i still have i still owe thirteen thousand dollars right but for them you have no payment balance of that next month because i'm overpaying it i over you know i did not wait for the how many days of interest because every the fifth of the month i am already paid i'm paying my balance even though i don't have a balance and also okay the fifth right and my my due date is on the 18th so how many days that i am ahead that i am not paying that interest so all of that goes to the principal also because even though they told me or they sent me a message saying i do not have a balance for next month so you know don't worry about it so but i don't so of course the loan company in or the loan institution whatever you call it they don't make money a lot out of me because i am paying more and i don't pay much of interest either now let's talk about credit cards now let's say this major credit card i pay all my um most of my bills in this credit card right let's say i charge like my groceries my gas every day and um let's say i use i charge a thousand dollars in these credit cards uh in within 15 days of this month now thousand dollars right so when i receive my paycheck all that paycheck all that money in my paycheck will only go straight to the credit card or the amount that i charge for the credit card let's say all the thousand dollars from my paycheck goes to the credit card so really i don't see cash right because <laughs> it's or it's already gone the cash is already gone because i already use it ahead of time that is the advantage of having a credit card because you know why you can really manage it <clears throat> ahead of time you can manage your cash ahead of time by using credit card and it is good for your credit history because you're pay i mean you're using your credit every day but then also your credit consumer knows what are being charged in your credit card. But if they learn, the credit consumer also look at it. What are you buying? What are you spending? What type of, you know, spending you are spending? You know what I mean? Like, but they see in me that I only paying my bills. I'm only buying groceries and, you know, basically all the important stuff. I don't go like going to the movie theater, like um, recreation or uh, going travel, um, things like that. So that is why I maintain a really excellent, excellent credit history or credit score, even though I still have, how much was it? $13,000 in debts. So, folks, this is our all the tips I can give you. I am not trying to brag about how many credit cards I have. 
I show you my credit reports and to all mother, single mother out there that are struggling with credit score, credit card, spending, whatever, this is all the tips that I can give you. And I hope that you have a good and great day. And I hope that my tips will help you a lot. Until the next time, I will have another topics about managing financial, your financial. Thank you very much and have a great day.